is starting to have a different scent. The leaves are falling and the lights are playing a bigger role. Welcome to the week seven edition of the high school blitz and the start of October football. The playoffs are on the horizon, so the games becoming a little more critical. We start in Whitefish Bay with the Blue Dukes hosting the West Bend West Spartans. Both teams fighting to keep their playoff hopes alive. Third quarter, Bay driving, Chase Walter throwing deep, but he's picked up by Ryan Rose at the three yard line, keeping the Spartans in the game. Now they were still down 21 to six in the fourth, but they go a forward on fourth down. Jack Dahlberg hitting Ryan Rose for the score, but that's as close as they get. Bay wins 28 to 12. Last season, Homestead and Cedarburg finished first and second in the North Shore Conference. This season, they're right back at the top of the standings coming into the night. 4-0 in conference, along with Slinger. With the stakes so high, it's our high school blitz game of the week. Here's Lily Zhao with the story. The North Shore Conference title is at stake, and rivals Homestead and Cedarburg want their crown. Lee Zortman electrifies the home crowd with a massive return early. He weaves his way down the field and is eventually taken down at the eight yard line. The Highlanders are in business. Then Tommy O'Hagan plunges in the touchdown and Homestead goes up seven to three. Cedarburg's defense had a pair of takeaways in the first quarter, including this one as Logan Zauer picks off O'Hagan. And the Bulldogs capitalize. Alex Evanoff dumps it off to Spencer Sturm and he'll do the rest. Rushing 68 yards down the field, breaking tackles along the way as well for the touchdown to put Cedarburg back on top. But not for long. O'Hagan drops back and hits Jonah Wensler for the 29-yard score as Homestead took a 17-10 lead into the break. The Highlanders continue to play complimentary football in the second half. William Charles right here picks off Evan off. And on the other end, it's O'Hagan to Wensler again for the 26-yard touchdown. Wensler wide open there. Homestead rolls to a 34-18 win and hands Cedarburg its first loss of the season. This win is huge. I mean, going into playoffs, like we were already calling this game a playoff game all week. That's how we looked at it. Cedarburg's a good team and did our thing. Got the win. The defending North Shore champion Highlanders now move to 5-0 in conference. Next week, another conference showdown at Slinger. Reporting from Homestead High School, Lily Zhao, Fox 6 Sports. Thank you, Lily. In the Midwest Classic Large Conference, Milwaukee Academy of Science trying to go to 7-0, traveling to Pius. Braylon Albatron airing it out to Cameron Gray. He makes the catch, the cutback, and that opens up the end zone for a 65-yard touchdown. Pius trying to answer. Makai Burgess with the keeper, creating a big chunk play for the Popes. But Shamar Nelson puts the ball on the ground, and Brandon Moore scoops, scoots, and skedaddles all the way in for the score. The Novas are now 7-0 with a 58-0 romp. Now here's Leach's Lynch finding first-year Pius assistant coach Sean Cocroft, who's supporting some serious bling on the sidelines. It's called the Pancake Chain, and when an offensive lineman gets a pancake block, they get to don the chain, which is pretty big stuff, syrup, butter, and all. Brookfield Academy looking to keep its title hopes alive, hosting Living Word Lutheran in the Midwest Classic Small Showdown of 40 to nothing in the third. Bo Libby muscles his way in for a Blue Knight touchdown, but there's no quit from the Timberwolves. Ride Ely finding Donovan Pettis, and this is a 23-yard touchdown pass, but Ethan Pothas putting the final touch on this one, stretching out and getting in for six. The Blue Knights move to four and one with conference. They win 54 to seven. Here's head coach John Colley after this impressive win. Yeah, there's always a benefit in, in our, our motto this week was to get better every single day. We worked on our fundamentals. We worked on our skills. We've got a lot of kids in the game tonight. Yeah, we always talk about celebrating each other. And, and when some of the backups got in tonight, you know, the starters were really excited for them. I love the team effort. Our high school blitz fans of the week hailed from Brookfield Academy. The student section with seniors leading the cheers alongside some freshmen, affectionately called Doon Doon fans. A nice shout out to a twin brother on the team. Homecoming tonight at Grafton with Milwaukee Lutheran visiting. First quarter, Grafton in the wet zone. No problem for Brady Hilgard hitting Matthew Clemens in the end zone. It's 13 to nothing Blackhawks. Early in the second, the Blackhawks threatening again. This time it's Tommy Lutz getting the call and he makes the most of it as he cashes in for six. The celebration is on as they roll to a 57 to eight win. Now with so much going on in and around this game, we figured this was the best place to send our homecoming king. Touchdown Tommy Fitzgerald. Touchdown Tommy here at um, Grafton High School. It's Grafton Blackhawks versus um,
Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm excited, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, we're all excited. Are you guys excited? Oh yeah, go Hawks. Extremely excited. Do you have a date? What? Yeah, we both have dates. Yeah. My boyfriend's in college, so I don't have a date. I don't have a date. I got asked yesterday. Yeah. I'm here at Crafton. Um, I'm ready to pound the rock with the Blackhawks. Pound that rock, Tommy, I love it. A city crossover game at Jimmy Bank Stadium, pitting Hamilton against North. Malachi Whitelaw taking the ball, directing his blockers to great effect. He goes 22 yards deep into Blue Devils territory. But Isaiah High Knee Miller says enough is enough as he breaks through the line, creating a tackle for a loss. The Wildcats roll, though, to a 42 to nothing win. So even after seven weeks of action, the picture of the postseason is still unclear. What is clear? The action has been phenomenal. To relive all of the great moments in week seven, just go to our website, fox6now.com. Only two more weeks remain in the regular season, so we'll see you next Friday night.